It's said that you can turn a regular bicycle into an amphibious one using large water jugs. Adam thought that sounded a little far-fetched. But when it comes to DIY skills, Adam's never been one to back down, so he decided to give it a shot. He started by taking apart a folding bike, removing the rear wheel first. Then he cut off the original steel frame and replaced it with a wider, sturdier support structure. Next came the wheel modification. He attached 12 aluminum paddle blades inside the rear wheel. Once everything was installed, he placed the modified wheel back into position, and it worked just fine. That wrapped up phase one. Then came the floats, based on pictures he found online. Eight water jugs would be enough. Adam planned to mount them onto auxiliary brackets attached to the outer steel frame. First, he bent some small metal strips to fit snugly around the jugs. Then, he welded those strips to the external frame. After doing the math, he figured out that each empty water jug could provide about 18 kilograms of buoyancy. With eight jugs, the total buoyancy was more than enough to support both the bike and Adam himself. After a full day of hard work, the amphibious water jug bike was finally finished. To ride it on water, all he had to do was lower the outer frame. To switch back to land mode, he could simply raise it back up. No time to waste. It was time for a test ride. The moment Adam got on the bike and it floated, it was clear he'd pulled it off. Not only could the bike move forward smoothly, it could also be steered with ease. And the water jugs? They worked like a charm, Jimmy saw it, and immediately decided he needed to build one too. 